Hello everyone, welcome to Porterhouse Mod Reviews. I'm Porterhouse. I am extremely excited to bring you two very cool mods. These, these mods are sweet. Uh, the first one is a follower mod, the second one is a dungeon mod. The follower mod is Yashira here, standing to Tish's left. Uh, she is a custom voiced Red Guard follower by Noct Damarung 77. I will uh, put the links uh, to her in the description below. She is a Red Guard follower who was stranded in Whiterun after she left Hammerfeld. She calls herself a Blade Dancer, a warrior trained in two-handed and dual-wielding combat. So, she's not the vanilla follower uh, that we've been seeing by the thousands, some of which are still very good, but they are still vanilla. Uh, her voice is, custom voice is based on female sultry with over 300 lines of dialogue. Uh, there's some options that are not available until you get to know her better, so you can't uh, just jump in and ask her to marry you or access her inventory. Yeah, you got to travel around a bit, so she doesn't get boring right away. Uh, she is located in Whiterun and the Temple of Kinnareth. Uh, I did mention that she's marry uh, she is marryable, but uh, you do have to jump through some, some hoops to get that. I will let you go to the mod authors page to figure out how to do that. I don't want to cover it here. Uh, her uh, armor is a custom mashup of Nisa Tanaka and Halo Farm armors. She, her weapon is a custom two-handed uh, scimitar that's quite beautiful and she is pretty deadly with it. I've already taken her out for kind of a test run. You're definitely going to see more combat later in the video. Uh, as I said, her combat style is either two-handed or dual-wielding. Uh, her perks include Barbarian, Deep Wounds, Champion Stance, Devastating Blow, Sweep, Armsman, Dual Fury, Agile Defender, and Light Foot. Uh, she is available in UNP and CBB HDT, and for the CBBE version, as I said, you're going to need the uh, HDT physics with the compatible skeleton. Uh, that is a requirement for that, so you can't just skimp. So, in any case, uh, you can't just uh, jump in with uh, with her dialogue options. Like I said, you have to jump. You have to get to know her better. Uh, you want to be careful with your if you have any follower uh, overhauls. The custom voice version seems to be compatible with EFF, according to the mod author. AFT is not compatible. You can still have it. Just don't uh, choose to manage her with AFT. I have UFO. I haven't had any issues, but I also haven't used any of the UFO dialogue options with her, so I didn't want to break anything. I may test that out later to see if she's compatible. I'll let the mod author know. She has a scripted install, so you can choose normal or vampire. Her voice type, which is the custom uh, dialogue or the vanilla female sultry with standard follower behavior and of course her the choice between UNP and CBBE and you can toggle her war paint. Uh, we're going to take a little closer look at her face here. She's kind of twitchy, I'm not sure why, but the mod author did a fantastic job with her. I love the war paint choices, I love the sort of exotic tilt to her eyes, the eye color, lips, everything, hair. Uh, her body style is different than your standard vanilla follower. Uh, she, even though she is CBBE, she's not using uh, the one I have uh, installed for pretty much everybody else. So having something a little different is always nice. The mod author obviously put some work into her. I'm extremely pleased. We're going to. Uh, I'm going to let you take a look at some stills of her and some slow pans, so you can get a better idea of what she looks like. And uh, we're going to try out her combat abilities in our second mod of the review, which is Kunthar Keep by whatever development. The, the, it was uploaded by whatever 515. Uh, these are, this is a Nordic Ruin dungeon. Uh, it's sort of northwest of uh, Falkreath and east of, I believe it's Hartwood Mill. So it's actually it's on the map, so it's easy to find. I'll read you a little bit of the background. Uh, the legends speak of a hidden Nordic ruin only the Dragonborn is powerful enough to conquer. Kuthar Keep is among these Nordic tombs with a powerful weapon hidden in, within. 
Many have tempted fate and tried to tried their luck and hoped to retrieve this legendary sword, but none who enter have ever returned. Kunthar rose to power in the ancient world through the use of a powerful sword, the Skulfnung. Skulfnung. Skul, Skul, don't hate me if I mispronounce that. After his death, the Nords believed that no one was capable of wielding such power, and it was sealed deep within Kunthar's keep. You have to fight your way through the crypt to wield the power of the ancient Skulfnung sword. Now, I kind of already checked out like the first couple rooms. Uh, it looks extremely promising. I can't wait to go through it with uh, Yashiri here and see what we can find. Uh, before we get going here, though, like I said earlier, we're going to have you look at some uh, some stills and some slow pans of Yashiri so you can get a better uh, idea of what she looks like. Uh, and then after that, we're going to go to uh, Kunthar Keep and try out her combat abilities as well as check out the keep itself. So I will see you in a bit. everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the pictures and a little bit of slow pans. Uh, the ladies are now at Half Moon Mill just west, or excuse me, just east of Kunthar Keep. So we're going to head west here and go explore these ruins. So uh, sit back and enjoy. Uh, I, like I said, I may not do the whole thing depending on how long it is. I may just show you some highlights. I don't want to give away too much in the way of spoilers. Uh, it looks to me like the author worked awful hard on this, and I'd hate to ruin it for him. So, anyway, we're off to the keep. Alrighty, we're at Kunthar Keep. Um, he sure is right behind me. We're going to go ahead and go on in. Oh, see, right there. Throw some light on the subject, uh, and uh, go take a look. This is going to be a lot of fun. Oop. God, that sword is wicked looking. Wow! Oh, another one behind you! Another one behind you! Had your back. Anybody else want some? Hmm, 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 hmm. And once again, as I stated in other videos, I'll try to keep it in third person so you can kind of. Whoa! Hello! Yashira. Fine, I'm going to let him hit you. Yeah, she's getting her ass. Okay, whoa! Alrighty. <clears throat> My work is done. Ooh. Nice kill. It's nothing. Nicely done. Is there another one in here? I thought I heard something. Wait. You sure? Oh. I'm pretty sure he's not bleeding. Unless he was just eating someone. He's just pounding the shit out of that guy. Okay, 
Well, that was a fun little kill shot. <laughs> so, hang around here often? <laughs> Sorry, had to be done. Whoa! Hello! Nicely done. I'm going to put you down. Do your work. Nice, we both hit him at the same time. Um, one of the things I look for in a dungeon mod is clutter placements. You don't want to have one that's just too plain, but then again, you don't want to have one that has too much crap in it. And the mod author did a fantastic job. Uh, just the right amount of clutter, I'll take that too, without overcrowding everything and didn't overdo it on the enemies. One of the things I would also look for in any sort of dungeon or crypt or quest mod is variety. Um, Draugr, fine, makes sense, but I would have thrown in some spiders or something else, skeevers, something to mix it up just a tad. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh. We're gonna heal her up a little bit. Okay, so we've been progressing along, and I think something. now she will let me into her inventory. Here you are. Why, yes, she will. Awesome. Okay. Until next. Day. Well, apparently you were a tool. Yeah, and I want my shield back. That is cool. All right, everyone, that has been Yashira by Noct Damarung, a fully voiced, or excuse me, a custom voice Red Guard follower. She is uh, extremely gorgeous. I love what he did with her face. It makes her an exotic beauty. Uh, love the make, or not the makeup, but the war paint. Love the armor piece choices, mix of Niza Tanaka and um, Halo Farm armor pieces. The only downside to that and her weapon was I could not improve them. Uh, the armor could be overcome. I could just make these pieces at the forge and then improve them and then just replace them. Uh, the sword, not so much, but I have ton of uh, two-handed weapon mods installed, most of them Billy Rose stuff. Also highly recommended. Uh, and the uh, dungeon mod slash quest mod, Kunthar Keep by whatever515. Uh, fantastic.
fantastic. Uh, it was a short but very well done uh, uh, exploration slash dungeon mod. Uh, I didn't notice any glaring. Uh, uh, I actually don't know how to put that. Uh, you know, sometimes you see where people had built a dungeon mod and you see where things didn't match up quite well. Well, whatever, 515 managed to avoid that. At least I didn't see anything. The lighting was perfect, not too much, not too little. Uh, number of enemies for these two was fantastic. It was just enough to be challenging. A lot of uh, uh, Draugr uh, overlords and that kind of thing. I might have mixed it up a little bit, thrown in some spiders, even if they're you know fairly wimpy. But at least, uh, but uh, I like throwing, I like variety in a in a uh, in a dungeon mod. So, uh, and then the quest uh, items were a lot of fun. Uh, I think he did a fantastic job with the choices for that. And uh, there wasn't it wasn't just the sword. There was something else. I'm not going to spoil it for you. If you want to find out, you're just going to have to download uh, Kunthar Keep and uh, play it. So both uh, whatever 515 and knocked Damarong 77 did a fantastic job. I encourage you to go download both of these mods and try them out. And if you like them as much as I did, make sure you vote. Uh, if you like them that much, endorse. Maybe pop by their forums, drop them a note and say, hey, I liked your stuff. Thanks. Uh, you know. And then if they have uh, a mechanism in place, and I believe they both do, uh, donate some cash. Throw them a couple bucks. Uh, I like to encourage my mod authors for Skyrim mods. Uh, the mods that have coming are coming out for Skyrim have definitely slowed down, but they're still coming out at a steady pace. I actually already have some lined up for my uh, for my next mod review. So I, you're not exactly hurting for mods yet, but I want to encourage you to show the mod authors some love. So. In any case, like I said, that was Yashira by Noct Damarung 77, Kunthar Keep by uh, whatever 515. Uh, if you enjoyed my video, make sure you click on that like button and subscribe to my videos. I also encourage you to take a look at some of my, some of my other ones. Uh, I cover a lot of mods I don't think got the love that they should have. Uh, case in point was uh, Crazy Lion's Daedric Weapons Replacer. I think he did a fantastic job with that. So, in any case, uh, I will see you in the next mod review.